Along with it being the season to be stressed, it is the season for local theater to start back up, specifically Key West Fringe. They will be opening up their season with a play called Boston Marriage. Now, from what I've heard so far, this is a season opener that you won't want to miss. Monty, thank you for being on the show with me today. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm glad to have you here and talk about Boston Marriage. It sounds like this is going to be a great one, Monty. Well, it is a great play. It was written by David Mamet, and it's being directed by local talent Richard Grusin, and we're thrilled to have him directing. The play is interesting in that David Mamet usually writes plays about very macho, profane men. Mm -hmm. And it is said that when he was criticized because he never wrote meaty good parts for women, that he sat down and wrote this play. And Boston Marriage is a Victorian parlor comedy, which is so uh, far afield from what he usually writes. Mm -hmm. And it has his usual dense and very intelligent and sharp language in it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a real treat to see. The other thing I should mention that Boston marriage means something. A Boston marriage in the Northeast meant two single women living together, sometimes lovers. Really? Yes. And in this play, mm -hmm. as it happens, they are. So mm -hmm. that was just a reference to, you know, a couple of women who um, uh, euphemistically were referred to as living in a Boston marriage. Okay, well, that's <coughs> new to me. I've never heard that, Monty. Now, are you going to be presenting this play immersion style? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. um, just for viewers who may not know, we fit a play to a venue and a venue to a play. So this play, because it's a Victorian parlor comedy, we're presenting it in a wonderful Victorian house, a place called The Carriage Trade on Eaton Street between Duval and Simonton. And this is a nearly pristine Victorian, Victorian house, and we're going to be presenting this in the garden. So we have a, had a very interesting uh, road getting <laughs> to providing enough set right. to create a Victorian drawing room while yet incorporating the aspects of the garden to you know, maintain that beautiful tropical feel that we all love here. Mm -hmm. You had your hands full. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's but it's you know we we've solved the issues we're right. we're ready to go and we're pretty pleased with the result. Good, and our viewers are going to get to see that result if they make it to the play already this weekend, right, Monty? Yes, we open Friday night. Friday is opening night at the Carriage Trade, and uh, we'll be up Friday, Saturday, Sunday for two weekends in a row. So this weekend and the following weekend. Then we have Thanksgiving week off mm -hmm. and we're coming back November 30th for our third and final weekend of the play. Sounds like it's going to be a great run, Monty. Now what else can we expect from Key West Fringe this season? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Jenna. <laughs> we have a fairly aggressive and pretty exciting uh, year scheduled for ourselves. Um, we're doing a few things a second time. We did Shakespeare in Schools last May, and we had such a phenomenal response from the kids and the teachers, and the actors loved it. Uh, so we're going to be repeating Shakespeare in Schools next May. Okay. We're doing something in uh, November, the weekend of November 30, in conjunction, well actually as part of, the Arts Key West Festival, which is a new arts festival in town, and all the galleries will be open and we'll be having special events and so forth. And what we're doing there is something that we have called Fringe Benefits. Okay. I and like these it. are free public mm -hmm. performances, and we're performing in the galleries. The mm -hmm. schedules are on our website. And what we're doing is short plays, but short classic plays. Mm -hmm. So we've got plays by Chekhov and Strindberg and the likes of some of the greatest writers in the world. And most people don't know that these guys actually wrote 10 and 15 minute plays. So if you're wandering around the galleries on that weekend and mm -hmm. looking at all the wonderful art they've got, you can schedule yourself to show up in time to see our short plays going on in, their, uh, in the galleries as well. Mm -hmm. And then the final thing I'll mention is for the first time mm -hmm. we're going to have a gala, January 20th. Okay. And it's going to be a wonderful evening. We are so happy to have Bobby Nesbitt and Carmen Rodriguez performing for us, and we'll have the musical stylings of Mike Mulligan as a special mm -hmm. guest. Mm -hmm. And that information is also on our website, but it's January 20. We hope everybody will come out for it. You have great performers who are going to be performing at it, it sounds like. Yes, Those we do. Those are three very talented entertainers. Now, Monty, how can you guys 
with volunteers, if people want to get involved in the Fringe, can they become a volunteer? Oh, absolutely. We are an all-volunteer theater. Mm -hmm. We have no salaried employees. And so if people have a passion for theater or an interest in theater, regardless if it's uh, ushering, working in the box office, helping decorate the set, helping build the set, uh, lighting, uh, acting, directing, whatever the area of their interest, we welcome them and we'll put them to work. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we all, uh, we all work very hard on these things. So we always are looking for additional volunteers. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's interested, please get in touch with us. You can check out their website on the bottom of the screen or give them a call at the number you see. But most importantly, check out Boston Marriage, which will be premiering this weekend. Monty, thank you for being back on the show. I'm happy look, to be here. I look forward to the play. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning. Join me again tomorrow at 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, everyone.